five strange and mysterious videos that need some explanation. This is from uh, Top Fives. I've really enjoyed these videos uh, in the past, and it's been a while since we've done it. And so let's get into it, dude. These are always pretty good on this list. Some of them are just so good, and dude, when they're when they're good, they're great. Mysterious These... videos that surface on the internet are always a great topic to talk about because not only are there an abundance of them out there, but it's always a perfect chance to have a good mix of different topics all in one video. Yeah, that's true. So from some footage caught deep within an abandoned mine, that needs some serious explaining, to a mysterious craft caught by the Chilean military that has only recently been released to the public, here are five incredibly unexplained videos. What? Sit back and enjoy. I don't know if there's any sitting back going on. I definitely Mysterious sit up. Mysterious cave sound. Hell no. You may uh, remember already. in one of my videos a while back, a very strange piece of footage that was filmed in an I abandoned that. mine by a popular mine exploration channel. Did we watch that together? It showed I remember chains that. seemingly swinging by themselves from within the mine and was pretty creepy. And even more so because of the fact the man who filmed it has hundreds of mine exploration videos on his channel and doesn't seem like he would fake things. Well, he has filmed something else that is even stranger than his last. It was taken during a visit to Western Australia in the 150-year-old abandoned deck gold Where's Lavorg at? Where's Ethan at? In the video, Frank is demonstrating a flashlight, and it's worth noting that the weather is very windy. As he approaches the portal to the mine, a few bats can be seen as it appears to come to an end. Then, as he turns around to make his way out, he hears a very strange noise that seems like a mixture of chanting and voices. It really speaks for itself, so take a look and listen. Nah, that's on the list of shit I don't Damn like, it. bro. Sounds like, uh... Oh, you can actually weird? hear it in the video, too. Can you, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Why am I leaning into the camera like it's gonna help me hear it? Do you hear that? What the fuck is that? It stopped. Nah, that's when it's time to leave, bruh. It's definitely time to leave. Well, I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound like wind, but... <laughs> he said, that's ah, crazy. He, ah, I don't, don't know, know what if that's that is. a bird or... It's not a bird! I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like snakes, but... That is definitely not a fucking bird. Well, I've heard some weird stuff in mines, but that is definitely creepy. I don't know what that is. So, let's is get this, out of here. I'm about to say, is that the sound and, of you uh, fleeing? The most monotone flea ever. Um, that was is, that, is that the sound of a, of a demon? Sacrificing a baby? Is that what that is? Is that a demon eating the entrails of a of a peasant? Is that the, the haunted spirit of George Washington getting raped by Hitler? Is that what that is? Huh. Guess I should go. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He's so chill about that. Hell no. Don't forget, this was filmed deep within a mine, where the only thing that should be making a noise would be wind. The or screams an of my enemies. Now, Frank is wondering if it could be birds, snakes, or even bats. But he didn't stick around long enough to find out. Exactly. Straight out of the That's mine, smart. So we will probably never know what was causing that the That is smart. Get the what fuck out. Was? Damien Nettles. This Nettles are the things, things that hurt you when you touch them, right? ...of a man whose disappearance is still being investigated over 20 years later. It began on the 2nd of November 1996, when 16-year-old Damien Nettles left his family home in the Isle of Wight and headed to a house party with his friend Chris. They left the party at around half nine and travelled by ferry across the west coast, purchasing alcohol along the way before stopping off in a pub and a fish and chip shop. About an hour later, Chris and him split up, and Chris assumed Damien was heading home. However, it appears Damien headed back to the high street and was spotted several more times outside pubs and talking to someone in a car until he was last spotted on camera just after midnight Aww. and has never been seen or heard from again. That's so sad. Remarkably, the CCTV footage was not retained, and the only footage investigators have to go off on what exactly happened to him is this video that was shot in the chip shop he stopped at. Is he really missing? That's so sad. This is kind of intense, dude. Seen the last, 
the footage of this last time this dude was seen. That's kind of intense to me. I can't hear anything. I ain't seen nothing weird there. Over you see the anything years, weird? I see nothing weird. There has that Damien had got mixed up with some pretty hardcore drug dealers that were known to be on the island at the time of his disappearance. Although this has never been proved and the case remains unsolved, yeah, with only that footage being the last released sighting of Damien Nettles, and nothing uh, but speculation on what exactly happened to him. I mean, it looked like he just chilling to me. I mean, it, you know, order some food late at night, you know, maybe he's a little bit tipsy, chilling. I mean, there's nothing necessarily weird about that one. Chilean Navy UFO. This next video was brought to my attention by Guillaume, and was captured in November 2014 by a Chilean naval helicopter on routine patrol, but has been classified for the last two years, during which it was being analysed, although there was never an explanation given for what exactly it is. The pilots on board said they tracked the object for around 40 miles and tried to make contact several times but received no response. They also reported the unknown object to two local radar stations but neither of them could see it and it wasn't showing up on the helicopter's onboard radar but could be seen with their own eyes, and of course on the camera. The UFO was said to be around the size of a helicopter, and was emitting a long plume of gas that quickly disappeared into the clouds. That looks like some pretty awesome, like, video game footage, like from like Call of Duty when you're like speculating people at night and stuff. It's actually looking kind of cool. Speculating people. I don't know what that Big ass, up sucky, oblong. It is definitely okay. Now it's getting kind of odd. What the fuck is like the smoke for? That doesn't even make any sense for anything. Just like a random plume of pollution we got to read stuff on some of these things man maybe maybe we could find like a good blog or something that somebody writes for some of these unexplained footage stuff that would be kind of cool to hear somebody hear somebody's theories on this stuff The pilots were interviewed by investigators and said they were convinced that the object was not anything they had ever seen before and had no explanation for what it could be. And like I said, it has been heavily analysed by the Chilean Navy, but they have not come up with an explanation or at least haven't revealed it to the public if they have. What's your thoughts? David Skier. This is an interesting one. In 1997, a man called David Skier from New York was watching TV when the announcement of Princess Diana's fatal accident was broadcasted. Despite having no particular connection to Princess Diana, he found himself shocked, angry and frustrated at the news of her death, for reasons he could not understand. Dave then found himself compelled to write in an unknown language that he could not read or decipher, which he filled many notebooks with. What? Over the years, Dave has tried to figure out what the glyphs mean, how he can write them, or what compelled him to do so in the first place. What? There are other stories similar to this, where people wake up and such, and start writing strange things down in a different language. But this is one of the best ones, and that actually has rat. video footage of the writings taking place. Take a look. Oh, please, give it to me. I started writing. But what I would start writing will astound me. It was unlike anything I'd ever written. I did not understand it and I did not know where it came from. That is it's so unlike weird. me drawing something. When I draw something, I know I'm drawing something. I'm trying to create it. There's some kind of personal connection to what you're doing that looks like you are, you are, you are the originator of this thing. But when I'm, when I'm writing this language, it's like I already knew this language. There's no, there's no hesitation. There's no forethought. That is, so there's some that is serious wild. connection to 
Dude, what if he shit. just has a brain tumor? Like that's what, like I like I heard a um I heard a podcast once that uh that talked about that people that can just do like unexplainable things like this Towards like they get struck by lightning dying. and now they can because speak another that language was or some what shit. Initiated, initiated the whole process of lightning this. And I'm looking for someone who just might be able to decipher what it means. Wait, you're trying to find somebody to decipher the, Over the, the years, shit that and you during wrote. a difficult time in his life, Dave mislaid most of his original writings. And it wasn't until 10 years later that he again became compelled to write more. This time in English, which resulted in a book called The Power of Paradise. That, by the way, has nothing to do with the strange glyphs he was compelled to write. Dave contacted me as he has no idea what the unknown glyphs mean and wanted to release the footage to see if anyone could shed any light on what they could be. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually Mysterious pretty cool, then. Pyramid video. In November 2011, right, the an unknown man uploaded a preview video to YouTube, which showed him modifying a remote-controlled car before flying to Egypt and documenting his journey to the Great Pyramids. Right. He appears to sneak in a remote-controlled vehicle with a camera attached to it into the shaft of a pyramid. The video then cut off before anything else can be seen. The title of the video was unusual. You have 30 days to pay me $5 million. And in the description was this. I just want to sell my silence. You have 30 days to pay me $5 million. Otherwise, I will upload the full version of this video. On a website called NowIKnow.com, also featured a timer counting down the days before he would post <laughs> the secrets that he found in the pyramids if payment wasn't made. Oh, wow. The deadline was the 18th of December, 2011. And true to their word, after the 30 days were up, the whole video was uploaded. Okay. It was no. a slightly longer version of the preview and does not cut off when the car goes through the shaft. What it appears to travel through the tunnel until it reaches a room where there seems to be a hazy image of a figure of some sort. Take a look and see what you can make of it. All right, this is worth $5 million. Here's the $5 million video. The only disappointing part is obviously the shit wasn't worth $5 million because they didn't pay it. So, but you know, we get to see, you know, what they suspected might be worth $5 million. Oops. Close that shit. All right, here we go. End of the pyramid. I enjoy how they edited it very quickly. I would have edited it much shorter than this. I did like, a, like an hour long experience. Okay, here we go. We in the pyramid. This is it. Five million dollars right here. Like you must really think that you found some shit to, to to ask for that kind of a ransom. Mr. Miller makes this shit real intense. That fuzzy shit. What are we looking at? After the video was released, no further information was posted, that was it. leaving people wondering what it was all about. Yeah. Theories ranged from a student project to a clever advertising campaign. Then there were also some bizarre claims that the footage was showing a reinforced alien bunker or the discovery of a secret treasure-filled burial chamber within the pyramids. <laughs> the website has since lapsed and the URL is now owned by someone else. Oh, and really? nobody has ever come forward claiming responsibility for it. It's asking for five million dollars. So what do you think it was all about? Just someone messing around, similar to the whole Max Headroom broadcast interruption? Or is the figure in the video supposed to be something that would be worth paying five million dollars for to keep a secret? Nah, not, not with What's that kind of quality, bro. You had to get that so HD five, camera, bro. Videos. Get that HD camera popping, get you a little flying drone so you can get aerial shots, and then your extortion will be on point. Watch out, that Slovakia. Those are five incredibly strange and mysterious videos that need some explaining. And needing explaining, they definitely do. I'm going to find a blog post where somebody goes like real crazy in depth with the science on this shit. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Thank you. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. 
My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs.